In this episode, we're talking about ghoul lighting, what to look for when you're lighting, and what to avoid. Hello and welcome, I'm Lisa from Milk and Honey Photography and the Milky Way, and today we are talking about ghoul lighting. Now this may be some, a term that you haven't heard yet, but it's one you're definitely going to want to fix to your memory. Ghoul lighting is that effect when you take a flashlight and shine it up your face under your nose. It creates these really dark shadows. It is not the light that anybody wants to be lit, especially our newborn babies too. The way that you're going to be able to tell that you're up lighting is the way that you're going to be able to see the shadows. What you're going to want to look for is always lighting baby from the head down. What it's going to do is create this beautiful butterfly effect underneath baby's nose and you're going to know that you've got it right. You're looking for that shadow that is created from the divot here and the nostrils under the nose. When you're working with babies from an aerial perspective, you're going to be wanting to look at the catch lights if they have their eyes open. We never want to have the catch lights in the lower quadrant of the baby's eyes. So always try to have it in the area of between 12 o'clock and about 3 o'clock and 12 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Those are the areas that, where you're going to know that you have lit the baby correct. So when you're working with studio light, maybe doing posing shots with adults, with parents, with their baby, what you may find is you are accidentally up lighting them as well. This happens when your light source is too far down. What you want to do is make sure that you're raising up your light and you've got that light coming down. The top of the light is, is up here versus up here because the light's going to be shining up instead of shining down and that's where you want it to be. So for example, I'm going to show you with this, this light to show you exactly where it should be. So as you can see here, it is far too low. Where my catch lights are going to be is coming up here. It's going to be in the lower portion of my eyes. Of course, I would want to be more, at more of a 45 degree angle, so the catch lights would be down here. That's not what we want. We want to raise this up. So at eye level, this would be getting better. And normally, I would be working with a, um, a diffu like a modifier, like an umbrella or a softbox on this. But for this example, I just want to show you where it would be just for ease to explain it. Here would be better. I'm, I'm having my light source almost directly at eye level, but it's still not optimum. You're still gonna get that up lighting effect as well. Where you really want to have it is raised up, tilted down, so you're getting that catch light in that upper quadrant, nine o'clock to 11 o'clock position. So if you are struggling to get the results you want when it comes to your natural light or your studio light, you're going to want to make sure you download our studio lighting gear guide. It's going to help set you on your way to figure out all the things you need to get started. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next episode.